Hey guys, I'm Richard Neowin, and this is the OnePlus Concept One. So, like many devices from OnePlus, it's designed in collaboration with McLaren. So, what makes this one different is, well, well, you can't buy it. It's a concept phone. So, well, it's the first in a series, which is why it's called the Concept One. So, at some point, there will be a Concept Two. So, what's new here? Uh, the main thing is that you can't see the camera. It uses electrochromic glass, or EC glass for short. It's actually what McLaren uses to tint the sunroof on its 720S, and it works by sending an electric current through the glass. So there were two problems, right? There were two problems that OnePlus had to solve. One is that it's too slow in the car, and it had to be sped up. After all, like that tint needs to fade when the camera launches. So OnePlus actually got it to launch in 0.77 seconds. The other issue is that it had to be thinner. So much thinner than the glass in a car. It has to fit in a camera cover on a smartphone. So OnePlus got that down to 0.35 millimeters, which is incredibly thin. So that's not all that's special about the OnePlus Concept One. It has McLaren's signature papaya orange color in the stitched leather. It also boasts being the first PVD-treated aluminum frame, which is why it gets that shiny gold look, which really looks like stainless steel. Other than that, it's pretty much a OnePlus 7T Pro. But the EC glass is the big big deal here, and I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I always look at the back of my phone and want to gouge my eyes out over that unsightly camera. I know, I know. Um, no one was actually calling to not be able to see their rear camera, so... Let's kind of break this down. This isn't a, a black and white situation um, going from clear to completely completely covered over the camera. The glass can also be different levels of translucent, which can help for taking pictures in bright lighting. It can keep from those bright lights from being blown out. Um, that might translate to actual meaningful camera improvements someday. Although, actually, I mean, I don't know the last time I've heard anyone complain about their daytime camera performance. Um, so we'll kind of see how that goes. OnePlus said it's it's. They said they're still looking into the technology, and seeing what what it can do in the future, how it can be meaningful in the real world for consumers. Uh, the company they they have a, a long history of saying that they won't offer devices in certain markets and then offering them, but don't hold your breath on this one. For now. All we can do is do what we're supposed to do when we see concept products. Just imagine the future that might happen, you know? Someday, maybe, we'll be buying phones where you can't even see the camera until you launch it. But until then, it's CES, and it's time to look at concept pro products that are never actually going to see the light of day. So um, stay tuned until we have the next concept product, because there will be more throughout this show. So that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.